So hi there everyone, welcome uh, back to another episode of Red Reacts. My name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you, and we are back with Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, this blew my mind how popular this video was. Um, after a slow start it kind of picked up very nicely and lots of requests came in because of it as well. A lot of people saying how amazing guitarist he is. So we're back with it again, this time with Voodoo Child. Um, and this has been requested, first of all, by Howling Wolf. Uh, so thank you very much for the request, and thank you everyone else who's requested it as well. Uh, you got to be in quickly to get your name in the in the request, or give me a special reason to do it. Um, and yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. He's, as a phenomenal guitarist, I said, I've gone back, I believe he was one of my dad's favourites. So yeah, this is from about late 80s, I believe. Um, Live at the El Macambo. Uh, I'm told this is his best performance. Could be wrong. There were so many different requests for it. But we're going to find out more about it. So if you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And of course, leave those amazing comments below with more requests and your thoughts as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, check out the links in the video description for ways you can support the channel more. And yeah. Let's get into this one. Again, this is the Jimi Hendrix classic, which I forgot to say. So yeah, uh, he's just, I mean, he's phenomenal already. I'm loving the sound of it. I mean, he just makes that guitar talk, doesn't he? I mean, it just is phenomenal what he can do with it.
I mean, that just, that's just showing off one hand. Yeah, as I said, it's, I, it's an instrument I always wanted to learn and never, I couldn't get my fingers to do what my brain wanted them to do, so, yeah. This is again, again I was just that the thought that just went through my mind was back in the you know when this was coming out I mean I was old enough to I should you know I'd have known the music but and I know the song but I, I didn't appreciate the stuff because at the time I, said I was more into my DJ side of things and that kind of takes you down certain routes so you kind of missed a lot of great musicians at the time and as I said, that's one of the things I'm loving about doing this, is I'm getting a chance to go back and experiencing things that I just missed, absolutely missed. And this is phenomenal. <laughs> Also going to apologize because I've got the funny feel that I'm going to have to cut some of this video because this, this, with him last time I had to, and it'd probably be the same again. And I hope it, you know, unfortunately, it's down to wherever the copyright bit shows up. But the guy, if you watch what he's, his showmanship as well with the guitar is is superb.
Another masterclass. Oh man. The guy is just so good, so talented. It's just beautiful what he does. I mean, you could sit, I mean, it's the sort of stuff I could just sit and put on the background and listen to. And I, I have had times in my life where I've gone through, you know, listen, to, you know, into my gut properly, into my, just my guitar music. But never, never for a long period. But I think he's one I could definitely hang around with and listen to quite a bit. As I said, I've got a very eclectic music taste. But that is just phenomenal. Do we do more? That's down to you guys. Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And of course, comments with recommendations, your thoughts. And yeah, and also check out the links in the video description for ways to support the channel. And come back and join us for another one very soon. I will see you then.